In the verdant tapestry of Irish mythology, where ancient gods and goddesses danced amidst the rolling hills and shimmering lakes, there lived a deity of profound reverence and healing power, Nemlin. Nemlin, whose name whispered of purity and renewal, was the god associated with purification and healing. He was said to dwell in the ethereal realm of Tir Na Nog, the land of eternal youth, where the air was perfumed with the scent of wildflowers and the waters flowed with the elixir of life. Legend spoke of Nemblin's extraordinary abilities to cleanse the body and soul from all impurities. Those who sought his favor would bathe in the sacred wells that bore his name, their ailments and sorrows washed away by the purifying waters. The sick and injured would make pilgrimages to his shrines, where they would offer prayers and sacrifices in the hope of his divine intervention. One such pilgrim was a young woman named Ain, whose body was ravaged by a cruel fever. Desperate for a cure, she traveled for days to the sacred well of Nemblin, nestled amidst the ancient oaks of the forest. As she immersed herself in the icy waters, she felt a surge of warmth and vitality coursing through her veins. To her astonishment, the fever that had tormented her for weeks dissipated, leaving her feeling refreshed and renewed. Word of Nemlin's healing power spread far and wide, reaching the ears of the High King of Ireland, Khan of the Hundred Battles. Khan, a mighty warrior who had led his people to countless victories, was plagued by a lingering wound that defied the skills of mortal healers. Hearing of Nemblin's reputation, he sent his most trusted emissaries to seek the god's aid. The emissaries journeyed to Tir Na Nog, where they found Nemblin seated upon a throne of emerald and gold. His eyes sparkled with a celestial light, and his presence radiated an aura of peace and tranquility. The emissaries bowed low before him and presented Khan's plea for healing. Nemblin listened intently to their words, his expression inscrutable. After a moment of contemplation, he rose from his throne and led the emissaries to a secluded grove. There, amidst the whispering trees, he performed an ancient ritual of purification and healing. He chanted incantations in a language unknown to mortals, and his hands glowed with a soft, ethereal light. As Nemblin's incantations reached their crescendo, a surge of energy coursed through Khan's body. The wound that had tormented him for so long began to close, and the pain that had plagued him for years dissipated. Overwhelmed with gratitude, Khan returned to his kingdom, his health fully restored. From that day forward, Nemblin's reputation as a healer of both body and soul grew even greater. People from all walks of life flocked to his shrines, seeking his blessing in the purifying waters of his sacred wells. And so, in the annals of Irish mythology, Nemblin's name became synonymous with hope, renewal, and the enduring power of healing. Centuries later, as the ancient gods and goddesses faded into the mists of time, the legacy of Nemblin lived on. His sacred wells continued to be revered as places of pilgrimage, and his name was invoked in prayers for healing and purification. And though the world had changed beyond recognition, the spirit of Nemblin, the god of purification and healing, remained an eternal beacon of hope and renewal in the hearts of the Irish people.